Well, here we have a Bergman 650. Side on impact at about 35 kilometers, a little bit less. And this is what happens to a bike when you're going not that fast at all and you get side T-boned, as they call it. I've got a broken foot, which is actually squashed, which I've got to go to hospital for further uh, treatment. Anyway, we'll go through the bike and we'll see what damage is actually being done to it. As you can see, it was taken on the impact on the left hand side I was hit and at about, oh, probably the car was doing maybe 10 or 15 clicks if that doing a U-turn. I was doing about 35 at the time, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, who knows, I got knocked out when I got hit. Anyway, as you can see on the back of the bike, it was hit on the left side and the bike was fell over to the right hand side. The all the back fairing all came off the bike landed on its left hand side and as you can see all the muffler there has all been squashed continue around and you can see how the bike skidded along the road along there on the side not to mention the bike's actually been twisted here you can see how I've got my, my whole hand underneath the seat area that's how much the bike's actually been bent just from that slow impact you can see all the dashboard has all been pushed around to the left side and it's been pushed in around to the back. So the whole front end is all virtually smashed and twisted. If you look down around to where the engine part is and to the frame, you can see that the frame's actually been bent. All the fairing and all the guards and everything have all been uh, broken off. If you keep going around to the front where you got the mirrors, all the mirror has all been smashed through there. All the plastic part has all been, all the fairing and light and all that has been busted off as well. Front guard's damaged. Continue around. The whatever that piece is called. <laughs> <laughs> the windshield has all been scratched as well. Apparently they're very strong uh, windshields and obviously it didn't break it on the, the impact so it's just been scratched. If you go further down the side at the front you'll see how much damage has been done on the side all around there. You can see from the side impact this is where she hit on the side of the motorbike when she was doing a U-turn. Now it's virtually all been bent in it's all been pushed in, including the radiator, which is just underneath there, has all been damaged and also all been bent as well. Uh, but that was from the other side where it flipped over and uh, landed on the right side. You can see all the white marks from where the plastic has all been pushed in, has been bent. Not to mention the kickstand there has been bent, which that's normally back there. And the kickstand at the back across there has all been pushed in. This is where the car actually hit on the side there. And my foot was obviously right on the, uh, on the stand. You can see via that how much damage was actually done to the bike. The whole bike's been twisted at the back and at the front. If you come further around to the back, you can see the kickstand here. Now I'm pushing down on the kickstand and the kickstand's not even wanting to go down, that's how much the kickstand's actually been bent in the force of the car hitting the bike. Go around, take it back to you, going down. Walk back, walk back, walk back, walk right back. Just finish it there, maybe it's far enough back.